Hey there, and welcome to my documentation about a small-time WFC and FOC group of renegade snipers. Let us begin as we shall. So, Hot Rod 57 and Legendary Status came across a very intriguing idea to assemble the group of normal friends that do like to troll people needlessly and compile them into a unique assessment of a clan, or a minorized clan that isn't usually built up as other clans usually are built up over time, or in a very short span of time, depending upon your perspective. That result of a uniquely needless effort is the group that we have here before us, known as the Kaon Gladiators, which is comprised of a lot of very unique players in this group, from Paul Bunyan 04 to MP, Darkrai, Shellshock, D-Razor, Bradley Manchor, B-Mitch, Crasher 2000, our boy Dark Spider, and Jamez. This is one of the things where I actually can be thankful for being on GameFacts.com as GameFacts was able to provide me a very unique amount of assessed or assorted data regarding particular elements leading to this clan's uh, well, activities. Not so much the rise or the fall as both did naturally occur over time, but rather just what the activities in intertwined of this clan. So, the clan originally was started by Hot Rod 57 in Legendary Status, as I said. And the initial members that came out of this was MP600, Paul Bunyan, Dark Cry, D Razor, and Crasher. And then the rest came as they naturally would, which would make the trolling bunch that we have here now. Oh, seriously. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, this wasn't the usual type of clan that does clan battles in a sense. They usually either stuck to doing a lot of public games or uniquely selective private matches. So, <clears throat> it almost felt like another variation of the Nation of Domination in a sense, but it's not entirely as diminutive or possessive about commonplace things or ideals but are rather open-minded individuals that can be rather attentive to detail for comedic relief. Which is always a nice thing in itself. Uh, beyond that point, the main group that they were up against at one point or another was probably either the early adaptations of KOW, or the early adaptations of uh, actually Nation of Domination itself, actually. If I'm reading my notes correctly and what I have uh, assessed here. The clan's overall active run was up until the beginning of 2015, the November and December portion of 2014 also. So the end of 2014, the beginning of 2015 was when you seen the last of this clan. <sighs> the 
It's a rather unfortunate find that the clan didn't have a chance to grow into anything bigger than what it was between WFC and FOC. Granted, the majority of these players did have access to both games, and so it is pendingly possible that the group could still continue to be something to this day, or it could have had the potential to be something to this day. By all means, I mean, it could have grown to be something pretty big, but it flickered back and forth. But it wasn't one of those clans that was to be taken seriously, it was one that was just meant to be in good fun and good nature. And during that time in the early stages of the community, I can see how a clan like that could definitely have a nice, infectious, and wholehearty nature to its existence. Ironically enough, with the time placing for this clan, or the mini or this miniaturized clan, since it's kind of like a sub-clan, it actually the, the members that are in this clan actually foreshadow the bigger clans later on down the road that I can easily see where they all derived from and how they all know each other in the clans that came in the 2015-2016 brackets. And then from there, where they all derived from from here, the 2015, likely 2014, and a little ways back bracketeers. And so it's just a very interesting little footnote there for history. A couple of the clans that we know or have come to heart and know now probably came from the foreshadowing of a nice little group of friends just like this one. I wish there was more detail I could shed on the k -On Gladiators clan, but alas, hot shot. Ah, Hot Rod did not leave me with enough information to utilize. And so, any questions, comments, or concerns, reach me or Paul Bunyan04, aka ACW Grimlock, when you can. That's all there is to it, guys. This here will mark the conclusion for my documentation about KG. As always, guys, stay tuned, and till all are.